Today, I build a liquid storage building to store infinite amounts of lava and biodiesel. I also get eaten by giant mosquitoes in the nether, as well as scared out of my mind by surprise wardens. What made those spawn there? Oh, and I put all of my cobblestone resources into making a singularity, only to then blow it up. Why? Let's create. In the last video, I was supposed to build a big old storage building. But as it turned out, I got a little bit distracted with a bunch of new mods. So instead, I ended up building this certain quartz and amethyst farms to start working on a singularity from Applied Energistics 2. I also built this new backpack to store all of the stuff for my construction wand. And that means I'm now carrying five backpacks. I've got four sophisticated backpacks with all types of different things in them, like this, as well as the one that's on my back. And don't forget, I've still got the traveler's backpack, which is the one that stops me from getting fall damage. And it's getting a bit ridiculous. Which is why I'd really like to get this applied energistic storage system built up. And now that I've got a whole bunch of amethyst and some certus quartz too, there's a couple of things I want to build. And one of those is the growth accelerator. But that will make these grow a whole bunch quicker. The other thing I want to build is the matter condenser. It's just iron, glass and a little bit of fluix dust. Which we get from crushing fluix crystal. Or we can mill it and get the same amount. And we get that from submerging charged certus quartz, redstone and nether quartz in in any type of fluid. Or we can use a Tesla core, which is from one of the Create add-ons, or we can use a charger, and we've already got a charger, so I guess it kind of makes sense to do it in there. So let's just whack a load of those in. I can only do one at once. Oh, it's quick though. There we go. That should be plenty. So I just need some redstone, some quartz, and some water. I'll have a little infinite water source there. 16 of those, 16 of those, and 16 of those, and we should see some sparking going on. Yeah, well, there we go. We got a whole bunch of it. Nice. 32. Now I wonder, if I stick a barrel a hopper there and our charger on top of that can i then feed this quartz in through this i can and then when it does it does it go into the it doors oh good so i can automate that and now i'm going to go and crush those fluix crystals throw all of those into there and they should all get crushed and they should go down there excellent so let's craft ourselves a matter condenser and this is also going to require power okay let's just stick a hopper in there throw in some cobblestone and it is going in but it's it's not doing anything it's just deleting it at this moment in time which is not ideal. Okay, before we get carried away with that, then I'm going to make one of these energy acceptors. And in order to do that, I need quartz glass, which means I need the dust and some more glass. And stick those clusters in there and see what happens. Nothing at all. In that case, then, can I crush these? Ah, oh, they'll go. They'll go in. Yes. Ah, there we go. There we go. We've got half a stack of that now. And if I put the energy acceptor there and then connect those device online so hopefully this is powered now but I, I can't tell ah to make a singularity it requires that you put a storage component in the top slot of the condenser right okay so we need a storage component jeez and how do i make those oh no i need logic processors but i'm not ready to do that yet oh jeez that means i need an inscriber and a oh, printed silicon and then i've got a job oh, jeez grab an inscriber then pop that there it's doing it thank you very much furnace does coal silicon silicon press silicon Fancy printed silicon. Those two in there. Bit of redstone. And a one of them. This is a lot more advanced than I was planning on being today. Oh, and I don't need the charge stuff. I can just use the normal stuff. Oh, that's handy. Ah, there we go. That's only a 1K storage component. And it's going to go up to 8,192. And this needs 256,000. Right, we've now got 8,192 stored energy. If I put cobblestone in there now, it goes in, but it did nothing. Oh no, I've just made a whole bunch of matter balls. Yeah, I think I need a bigger one of those. I think I need a 256k one. And that's going to be really expensive. Give me a minute. Well, I did my best, but my best isn't good enough. I made a whole bunch of these things, and I've even got one 64k storage component and two more 16s, but I need three of these to make 128, and then three of those to make a 256, which is a whole bunch more than I can actually produce, because I've pretty much run out of quartz, which means I'm now waiting on this thing. These growth accelerators then, surely they can't be too difficult to make. Let's see what happens with one. But now we've got none of the purple stuff left at all, but we've got one growth accelerator. It also can make plants grow faster as well it's online and that one's already broken and that's given us six of those which means we can probably build another one did that just go again it did oh man now we're in the money Woohoo! it's exciting boring no it's not it's very exciting boring no shut up you're boring now we've got enough of these to power this entire thing 
Now we are powered. We're growing quartz a whole bunch faster now. This is amazing. Well, while these are growing nice and quickly now, that means that very, very soon I'll be able to make up the rest of all of these things that we need. Because right now, I need to get that building done. So in order to get started, I need to build a building around this hole. And there's a few things that I need to put inside at various levels. And I can't really do the elevator until I've got the building. So I guess I'm going to do the building first. But before I get started with that, I'm going to need a whole bunch of concrete. So I'm going to create a machine that's going to do it for me. Now, this might not be the fastest system in the world, but it's working. We're getting concrete coming through, and these are the colors I've chosen. Cyan, light gray. And I'm using the fans we're already using from there to save some money, which is lovely. Not money. Well, materials, you know what I mean. SU more than anything. SU, mate. I beg your pardon. So I started by crafting up a whole bunch of tough and concrete variants, covering up the giant hole with variants of tough using the construction wand as a foundation for the building. The building I'm using for inspiration is quite a simple design, so it shouldn't be too difficult to emulate in Minecraft, and I started with the light grey concrete, building up the first corner and then the front wall. With a combination of cyan and light grey concrete, as well as quartz with the white trims, getting the front wall in place with the help of the construction wand was pretty easy, until I got to the big windows, which I made a mess of using framed blocks, more quartz and some grey stained glass, but I'll come back to those later. Next, it was time to move around to the side of the building that would be used for loading and unloading into the warehouse. Again, taking heavy inspiration from the photos I had, I put everything in place and then continued to the final two sides of the building, which were very similar to the first one. With all of the walls now in, I ripped out the large window, simplified the design, and then moved onto the roof, which again I kept simple, using industrial metal plating with zinc lamps around the edges and a handful of fent blocks, girders, and mechanical fans to give it a little detail. And that brings us to now. Well, I was nearly done, but then I decided that it was a really good idea to turn this into an accidental mob spawner by putting no lights in there and then a creeper went off, which isn't exactly ideal, but I suppose that means I've got the opportunity to build it again. Stop it. Chew. I need to get in, guys. Can you, like, just despawn or something, please? Well, anyway, aside from the fact that we can't get inside, I would consider that pretty much done. And I honestly don't think I've done too much of a bad job, although it is absolutely massive compared to what I actually need. And considering this is going to be a liquid storage building, I'm not actually going to be storing any of the liquids inside. Obviously, the outside leaves a lot to be desired, and around here we've got some access doors for some more vehicles, a little bit like what we've got over at the store and send. But obviously, this one's going to be for liquid and not items. So I've got a whole bunch of work to do outside for the yard area, but I really need to get inside and sort that out area too. But yeah, chopping in torches, anyone? Okay, let's... Oh my goodness, how many creepers is that? That's so many creepers. So, you know, I, th I think just despawning them... Despawning them... Some, ah, no, let me go. If I TP away back over to the Hummingbird Hotel and then just fly back, hopefully they'll despawn by the time I get there. And look, it's empty now. All of the visitors except one have disappeared, which is fantastic. So you can go. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to spam a whole bunch of torches around here for now until I've actually got some internals in this place and we can light it up properly. Oh, that should be plenty. But before we get carried away with the internals, let's go check on our Certus Quartz. You've just been back there. Why, did, why didn't you check it then? I don't know. Shut up. Amazing Quartz Machine. What do you have for me? They don't look like they're, they're offline. Huh. Why are they offline? But it was online when I left. How does this always happen to me? Do we need more power, mate? Okay, in that case, let's get rid of that and get rid of that. And let's put a big one of those on there instead. And let's just do that and that. Come back online. Are they going to stay online? They do seem to be staying online this time. Maybe we could speed this up, generate even more power. But now it's generating 360 instead of 96. Right, reconnect that. And it's still, it's only using 96, but it's got plenty. So I'm going to assume that that's going to be all right. Do a little bit of AFK over here and see how it goes. Well, that's a little bit more like it. Right, let's take a bunch of these and stick them in that system that... I, oh, jeez, I broke it, in a. And there we go. That's going to sit and make this lovely charged Certus Quartz for us. And then at some point later on, I can get back to making our stupid thing that I can't remember the name of. Right, anyway, more building. Let's hope this thing actually continues to run while I'm away this time. So the first thing I'm going to do while I'm over here is delete a bunch of my hard work and tear out most of the floor in order to put in a more suitable floor for a warehouse. And we're going to do that from this point here, I think would be a good line to make all of that warehouse and all of that like obviously stuff. Right, now we've got that in there, now we need a wall. And now we've got a decent sized factory area. Probably needs a ceiling and some girders and some other factory looking stuff, a little bit like this picture. 
Well, I don't think that's a bad start to this building. It's kind of what I was going for. We've got a couple of little offices at either side of the building with nothing in them yet, and a little platform above that to store things. And they've got some industrial line catwalk railing round. We've got some lights. We've got girders. We've got posts. Pretty much everything we need. And the Create Deco Pack has these industrial line catwalks, and I really like them. But the problem is they're totally bugged out on this pack. So when I select it and don't press any buttons at all, they just spam wherever I'm looking, which is not ideal. Very difficult to build with. And then if I try and get them back, they just vanish. I don't get the items back. And yeah, it's just a big problem, really. So unfortunately, even though they're one of the best looking things in the Create add-ons packs, I can't use them. Right, that's this side of the building done anyway. Apart from fluid tanks and things like that and systems to load and unload lorries full of fluids, I guess. But that's done for now. Next, we need to think about how we're going to do all of these offices and this big hole and all of that sort of stuff. But before we move on to a more building, I need to come check on that surface quartz again because I'm a little bit concerned that this thing's going to start overflowing. Yeah, see, we're not far off. I could do with some more chests on here, really. And then to make sure we collect them all together so that I don't have to look through each chest, we'll just put a line of hoppers under those ones and then everything can filter into there. And now I've got all of this quartz, there's absolutely no reason I can't make the rest of those things that I need to make. Actually, there is one reason. I've only got four pieces of glowstone dust left and I need quite a lot of it for these. Now I'd very much like a glowstone farm and all of that is is night vision and cinder flower. And night vision is just golden carrots and orchid potion and golden carrots are just carrots and gold. And I've got all of those things. But I probably haven't got time in this episode to make one of those. So I guess I'm going to be going back to the nether very soon to get some more glowstone. And when I say very soon, I mean now. And I could go through this convenient little... Oh no, because it's blocked on the other side. I can't go through that convenient little portal. In fact, I don't have a convenient portal at all. The only way I've got to go to the nether, it's either that one down there we just saw or the one over underneath the hot springs up here. I could really do with one of those at some point. But now they will use the hot springs. And here we are, back in the nether, ready to go get some glowstone. So I ventured out into the nether with my vein mining fortune 3 pickaxe, grabbing as much glowstone dust as I could find. On my way, I encountered a few mobs, getting an achievement for accidentally firing a projectile back at a gas, getting harassed by several blood-sucking nether mosquitoes, and even landing in a piglin village, triggering the learned piglin's achievement. Ignoring the angry mob and venturing on, I also achieved the hot tourist destination's achievement by having visited every nether biome, continuing to collect vast quantities of glowstone dust, as well as constantly being attacked by swarms of mosquitoes. A little later on, I discovered covered a skeleton camp with skeletons and wither skeletons and a handful of chests and barrels containing mostly junk. But I did grab myself a piglin head, at which point I thought heading back home seemed like a good idea, so I grabbed a few more stacks of glowstone dust on my way back and eventually arrived safely back at the nether lava farm. Well, I think nearly 7,000 should do it. Well, it's been another night on the server, and unfortunately our machine has completely stopped running again. But that's a good thing. But it's also because I'm an idiot. See, I put all of these chests and hoppers on the back of here. I don't know why I didn't just put in a storage drawer. And now we've got so many chests of this certus quartz that the deploys can no longer activate because they're full of items. So that's a very good thing. Yeah, I, I've got all that to sort out, and then I'm going to make this thing. And then, oh, geez, I'll be with you in a minute. Good news, everyone. After taking a little bit of time to create a little room inside of this basement area because a tidy room is a tidy mind. I was able to crack on and make all of the things that we needed to make in order to make a 256k ME storage component, which is what we need for our singularity. And now I can finally craft it. It's only taken me quite a long time. And then I can put that onto singularity mode, put that in there. And now I believe all we got to do is fill that up with 256,000 items and we'll get a singularity. But what's a singularity, Foxy Noted? Don't worry about it. We'll explain that later on, but not today. For this, we're going to need a smart chute, a rather large container with a few storage upgrades in it, and then I guess all of the things that I don't mind losing. Starting with all of my cobblestone. Just a few 21,000 cobblestone, and it is going in. This is good news. Very quickly. Well, now that's all of my cobblestone gone, I think cobbled deep slate should be next. So let's just throw it all on the floor, just like that. And let's throw all of that in there. And I think I can get rid of all of this netherrack too. And that's the cobblestone nearly all gone. I've only just filled those boxes up. There we go. Cobblestone's gone. Let's put in the cobbled deep slate. And how are we getting on? 22,000 of 250. It's going to take a long time. Pretty sure if I take these stories 
drawers over to my new mine here where we can probably fill them up all over again. But before I do that, I'm going to stick a new waystone down here called Temporary AE2 so I can get here nice and quickly. I'm going to wait for that to run out because it's nearly gone. Oh, we've got a red line now. And now I'm going to stick the netherrack on and go and get some more. 77,000 stone, 68,000 deep slate. Does that mean I've... Oh, all of my cobble's been smelted. Huh, maybe I should do some more digging. Time to get the machine back out again. Send it that way. Or that way, or that... I don't... I'm just going to dig. Um, what? Um, um, what? I'm not 100% sure how that happened. What's that? No oh my, there's so many noises, I don't know what they are. That's another one just woken up. Oh my goodness, what's that? There's another one in there. How would we, how, how would it go? Go away, stop it. Why are you clapping? I can't, I can't reach him. I need my bow. And then you little clappy, smelly thing. Let's get rid of you. Who's gone? Oh, no, he's not, he's there. Stop big. Well, you're dead. What about that warden? What are we going to do about those? Oh, no. Gone, dog. Stop it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Very strong. Okay, that was a bad idea. Where's my teleporter? And uh, just um, up away. Oh, man. I can't believe that. I'll just be really brave and wait for them to despawn. That's the brave thing to do, honest. I just I just want to make a singularity, mate. Shut up. Shut up. You're not helping. Got him. He's there. He's going the other way. Where's the one that was down? There was another one. Has he gone to sleep? The other one. I are only dealing with one. I need him to go a bit further that way. And then I can drill him to death. Hey, dude. Hey, come here, dude. Don't shoot me. Did he stay over there? No, he's following me. No, go the other way, you moron. Ow! I shoot you. But I think I'm high enough up that he can't get me with his rage attack. So this could be the way we get rid of him. There we go. Oh, I can change my zoom level. What? Do you need to see all the way over there? No problem, mate. I had no idea. Right, anyway. Jeez, he's dead. And good news is that we can bring this machine back now because it's finished down there. And get all of those tasty drops. Just remember, don't do time lapses of drilling machines when you're drilling through the deep dark. It's not a good idea. The thing I don't understand is that we weren't near anywhere near a deep, like an actual city to have screechers. I didn't think you got screechers unless you were in an ancient city. So that's just really weird. Ooh, what's not weird, though? all of the new diamonds. Okay, I didn't do anything this time. I was just setting another one up and another warden's come. I think those screechers, when they clap, make wardens appear because there was just a whole bunch of them clapping. But it's in the same place. See that clap in there? Stop it. Stop clapping. Very irritating. Was that him going to sleep? Yes, it was. Oh, thank goodness. Anyway, back to what I was doing. I was about to connect up our next one to go over to the next section. Go. And hopefully, we're not going to get any wardens this time. Stop it. Shut up. You'll wake him up again. Go away. Stop clapping. Do we need to get stopped? Oh, it is you clapping that does it. No, stop it. Go away. Oh, jeez. You're making finding a singularity very difficult, sir. <laughs> Another one dead. Good. So in order to get a little bit more cobblestone, I thought I'd come over to my cobble generators and fill up some of these storage boxes. And apparently this is all full. And we're getting a few items in here that are not getting collected by the looks of things. Our train should be collecting these, I guess. The other storage area is full. Oh, yes. Every single one of my storage tanks at my new storage facility is full. So we really need this new storage system in place to be able to take all of these things. But I need to do this one first. And I really need that singularity. So let's try chuck on all of this new cobble deep slate you've got and see how much we've now got we've got 84,000 in there we're getting another 80,000 there that's going to be 160,000 which means we're only going to be 100,000 short now I've probably got that many in my backpack if I really wanted to speed this thing up but realistically we're not even ready for me to have that because the storage building that the new AE2 storage is going to be going in is this one here which doesn't even I did I haven't even started that yet so I need to get this one finished get all of the exterior done get all all the liquid stuff done and then in the next episode hopefully we can start on that old oh, geez i've got i want it i need it now but i haven't i'm not ready so i guess i'm going to start with the new elevator that's going in here which will take us down to all of those lovely wardens oh joy and for this i'm going to need an elevator pulley i'm going to need a whole bunch of elevator contacts but apparently the recipe for those aren't working oh of course it's a redstone contact i need but i got rid of all my cobble 
Oh, don't worry, guys. I've got an idea. Not worried. You are. You. I can tell how worried you all are. Desperately worried about my lack of cobblestone situation, but don't. And fear not. I have a plan. If I look in these storage vaults, where all of our storage is, there should be a whole bunch of cobble in all of these. So if I put that on there and a cobblestone filter in there and flip that round. Here we go. I just have to stand here for a minute and grab ourselves a load of cobblestone. And if I was being really smart, I'd throw another one of these down here with another cobblestone filter and a chute underneath and I'd start filling up another storage chest with cobble so I can put it into my machine. And if I was really, really smart, I'd double this up or even triple this up and grab as much as I can because there's a ridiculous amount of cobblestone in this one as well. Okay, so I've just about got the elevator in place now. It's decorated. There's a hole in the floor, but don't worry about that. We've got some controls there and I've even put a trap door in so we can get above it to get to the elevator pulley. But of course, that's going to need power. Also, there's a little bit of a window here. That's because that's going to be a second floor and I've also put in a contact all the way down at the bottom of the mine so that it'll know that that's a level. I also need to... Well, no, I, don't, I guess I can show you better this way. It's just there. What I was going to say is that I also need to put a contact in at this level up here. And if it's going to come up to this level here, then that elevator pulley is going to be in the way. And the contact's going to need to go, I believe, right there. Just like that. So if that elevator's going to come all the way up to this level here, the top of it's actually going to be flush with this, which means we need the elevator pulley through the roof, which is not really ideal, but it's fine because we can cover it up, but we do need power to it. And currently there's absolutely no power to this area at all. I don't have a power station. We haven't got any lava. We've not got any way of making power other than water wheels and a handful of coal that I've got in my backpack. And that's really what this liquid storage system is going to be about. If I haven't mentioned it already, the idea here is that this is going to be an area that trains can come in and not only deliver liquids, but also pick it up and take it other places as well. And while we will have have tanks of liquid in this facility here it's all going to be being pumped in from new floors that i'm going to be building underground below this elevator where we're going to have infinite amounts of them and the first one's going to be lava and then i want to do biodiesel because it turns out running these blaze burners on biodiesel gives them the same amount of power as a blaze cake which is better than lava so that's on my to-do list as well and it's weird because all of these little strings that i'm trying to pull together all kind of require each other and getting them in the right order is pretty Pretty difficult. Oh, a phantom. Hello, mate. Finally, you've arrived in my world. It must have been a while since I've slept. So let's get rid of you by having a snooze, mate. And if we're going to be having temporary power, I might as well just make something really ugly on the roof of this building. Why don't you build it inside the building? Then it can be self-sufficient. That's not a bad idea. You're a genius. Why is there still stars? Not stars, blocks in the distance. No, it's stars, mate. Blocks. Oh, yeah. Okay, then if we're going to be having power inside the building that's slightly less temporary, then this building's going to need rooms and new floors. And how have I made that window not have any middle bit on it? I guess that's just going to be... A bit. Okay, this can be like a showroomy bit at the beginning then, and then we'll split it off maybe at this level here and then that can be a top i look I, i'll be back in a minute and a little while later i've done some decorating well i haven't done any decorating i've just put wall ceiling and lights in and floors and doors and stairs if we go through here you can see this little corner building here has a staircase up to the second floor and the second floor has a nice carpeted floor it's got a big room here looking out over there if we go through here we've got a little hallway that leads to the elevator which needs sorting we've got this room which looks over the warehouse area there and coming all the way through through this door here through this little hallway here and through there we've got a little overlook over that showroomy bit that i said about before and then we've got a similar sort of staircase on the other side that takes us straight back downstairs onto the bottom floor again back into this showroom area which i think will be perfect for some water wheels right now and the bottom floor is pretty much identical to the top floor except for the fact that the flooring is not carpet it's this polished calcite we've got another little room here opposite the elevator that allows you to go into the factory area i mean the warehouse and then these double doors just lead you back into the main sort of i guess reception area and while i was doing all of that i was also siphoning off a whole bunch of cobblestone from all of these machines and we've got uh, absolutely tons of the stuff by the looks of things there's 127,000 just in that one so we've got way more than we need to make ourselves a singularity and that means that there is absolutely no cobblestone in any of these machines anymore and that'll hopefully mean that some of the tanks have got a little bit more but, oh, 
So I'm going to dismantle all of these bits, take these boxes, and start shoving them all in there. And that was probably a bad one to choose because it's not got as much in. And while all of that's filtering in there, I'm going to try and combine some of these because, well, it's daft that they're all separated. So if I put that there and that one there, and grab myself another smart shoot and put that there, they should all go into there. And there we go, that's one down. And we're only about 60,000 away now. And while those other cobblestones empty out, I thought I'd come in here and have a look at putting in some power. But unfortunately, these water wheels will only produce 4,000 SU, which is probably not going to be enough for the things I need over here. And I think realistically, we'll have a boiler in here at some point, using some of the lava that we're storing below. But right now, I don't have any spare lava to chuck into it. What I do have over here, though, in quite ridiculous quantities, a sweet bet No, not sweet berries. Where have they all gone? They must have gone in one of these. Blaze cakes. We've got 640 in there. And I know we've probably got about 6,000 of those all together kicking about somewhere. And even though blaze cakes only last 160 seconds in a blaze burner that's over 250 hours worth scratch that we've got exactly 8192 which is a very strange number because that's divisible by eight which if you're into that sort of thing you, you, you well you know what it means the good news is that's 364 hours worth we're gonna be running on hot cakes by blaze cakes yep that's what i said no you didn't you said hot cakes same difference mate. well i'm just about here with this big old steam engine i've got some blaze cakes here we've got a mechanical arm to take them and put them in the blaze burners we've got some water wheels here to power the mechanical arm and also the pumps to take the water out of the thing that's powering the water wheels to put it in the boiler so that it actually works if i just knock that down a bit there we go everything should start kicking in and we should start seeing some very blue looking blazes oh geez too too much power a level 11 okay so we're being a little bit inefficient here we've got way too much heat going on not enough water and not enough size okay so size now matches the water we've just got too much heat so what i can do i think is just get rid of a blaze burner and just bring that heat down a little bit to match okay so now it's just the size which is slightly too big that's close enough a level 13 boiler running off blaze cakes and you know how i said it was going to last us 360 hours well that was for one blaze burner and now we've got six which means it's only going to last 60 hours and i really don't need 213,000 stress units i think i might make it a bit smaller there we go level four boiler 65,000. Two blaze burners that's over 180 hours worth of running time which is more than 500 in-game days so now that that's got power i believe i just click on it oh i haven't glued all of this together so hopefully now it's going to be able to do it there we go it's attached we want it on full speed for an elevator you'll die no no i won't i'm invincible you're not yeah, i am i haven't died yet you're having the game but not in real life mate because you haven't died in real life doesn't mean you're invisible pretty sure that's what it means okay then let's try this elevator now second floor very quick first floor very quick ground floor all the way to the bottom. Oh, geez, I am taking damage. It's fine. We're going down very quickly. And there we go. Oh, that didn't take too long at all. I just need to sort out some sort of step system to make that work better. And there we go. That's the floors named. So that means if I go back in here, we've got ground floor, first floor, and mine. And I put that minus 10 because we are going to have floors in between and I don't know what number they're going to be. What I would also like is to have a call button on them. And in order to do that, I need to get redstone links onto those contacts, which means perilously going across here again throwing that in there putting that sticking that on there put it in receive mode and then trying to find a way to actually get down so i can do the filters okay with that redstone link there in receive mode and this one behind the wall here i should be able to press that button and there we go it calls the elevator for me that's amazing but before i start fiddling even more with the elevators i want to get this singularity finished and we've got nearly 200,000 in there and we've got a hundred thousand there so we've definitely got enough for more because we only need sixty thousand in there so let's Let's grab that, put it on there, and watch this thing fill up. And there it is, a singularity. And we're even storing more stuff now because I haven't taken the box off. I can't believe it. We've made a singularity. But it's totally useless because I'm in no way prepared to even use it because it's going in that building there that doesn't exist. Kind of just feels like a bit of a waste of time, really. So I think I'm just going to craft this incredibly small TNT. Come to an area that I don't care about. Put that there. And I'm going to blow it up with this ender dust they accidentally crafted. So I don't need it anymore. It was a waste of time, wasn't it? Oh. What did I get? Two quantum entangled singularities. 
perfect. Yeah, well, I wasn't really going to blow it up, guys. What you have to do, you have to blow up a singularity in order to get a quantum entangled singularity. And that means that then when I've got my storage system, I'll be able to talk to it in any direction, in any place in the world. So now that I've finished faffing about with singularities, it's time to get the real work done in here. Because this video is running on a bit. Okay, so a little while later on, I have now got two basements. The first basement is ready for lava, but at the moment it's a mob farm. It's, a, it's actually a very good mob farm. So that's something to think about. And the second basement is exactly the same. And this is going to be ready for biodiesel. Infinite biodiesel. And again, this, this is also a fairly successful mob farm. And now I've just got to get that liquid here. And, and rather than pumping it round on trains, I thought it might be a good idea to make a fuel line. All the way from here, which is here on the map, through this incredibly long mountain range on the map, over to our power station, which is linked to our infinite lava, which is just under here. Now that's going to need a whole lot of pumps and a whole lot of pipe but i think that's going to be easier than trying to set up either another nether based infinite lava system or ferrying it over with trains because that's going to take a very long time and i want this to fill up relatively quickly for no particular reason other than i want to get this video finished so i guess i should probably consider putting some pipes in here and then doing a whole bunch of digging if you're enjoying this video then consider hitting that subscribe button it only takes a second and it really helps me out Well, the pipeline is now all in and we've now got this hose pulley with three pumps behind it, ideally pumping this stuff in as fast as possible. But even though it's coming at full speed from an infinite lava source, it's still very slow. And while that is filling up, I suppose it'd be a good opportunity for me to spend some time actually working on the outside of this building and getting some, well, outside stuff done, I suppose. <laughs> Well, it was a very big space to fill in, and I don't think I've done too much of a bad job. We've got a whole bunch of tarmac going around the whole thing. We've got a cross in here, which isn't finished, that comes across the train tracks. And then we've got a few parking spaces, some railings around here, some lights, so it's not too mob infested, a container and some pumping things, because at some point or other, we will have a train stop in here to be offloading some fluid, and it pretty much just continues around the outside. Now, I've got these bays here for the lorries to pull up and collect and drop off whatever they need to inside of the actual factory and that's pretty much it. Lots and lots of chain link fences, lots and lots of this mud and deep slate and blackstone, but it was actually pretty easy to do with that construction one. So yeah, it didn't take too long at all, really. Speaking of things taking too long, the lava's still not done. And it might not look like it, but it's actually come a very long way. Sneaking into Cheeky Free Cam, we've got six levels of this almost complete already, and there's only 12 levels to actually fill in, so we're pretty much halfway there. That's not too bad at all. So hopefully by the next episode all of that lava will be filled in which means we've got an infinite lava source over here which means we'll have infinite power and then we can get cracking on the next building which really should be that storage building that i keep talking about that doesn't exist so i'll see you then goodbye